It's a Small World is a water-based boat ride located in the Fantasyland area at various Disney theme parks around the world, including Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California, Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida, Tokyo Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, and Hong Kong Disneyland. Bienvenue à bord de It's a Small World. Pendant notre voyage, pour votre sécurité, veuillez rester assis et garder les bras et mains à l'intérieur du bateau. Ne fouillez pas à bord et n'utilisez pas. The inaugural version of the ride premiered at the 1964 New York World's Fair before permanently moving to Disneyland in 1966. This is the first version of the ride to incorporate a scene for North America with dolls representing Canada and the United States, and a distinct Middle Eastern section with dolls singing in Arabic and Hebrew. When people talk about iconic Disney rides, this ride is in the top of many Disney fans' lists, together with Big Thunder Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, Peter Pan's Flight, Space Mountain and Phantom Manor, or Haunted Mansion. The ride can be found at every Disneyland-style park worldwide and is always based in Fantasyland. The only Disneyland that doesn't feature in its a small world attraction, is Shanghai Disneyland. The Disneyland Paris version of it's a small world is unique, as it features an updated facade with differing landmarks and a completely different clock tower. It's a Small World at Disneyland Paris showcases 176 dolls from around the world. Disney Dreams is a nighttime spectacular at Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris. Designed specially for the park's 20th anniversary in 2012, the show originally ran from 1 April 2012 to 24 March 2017, when it was replaced by Disney Illuminations. Revival of the show premiered on 12 April 2023, as part of the park's extended 30th anniversary celebrations. Conceived by World of Color creator Steve Davison, the show features projection mapping onto the park's castle, fireworks, water fountains, fire, music, lasers, searchlights and other special effects. The story of Dreams is based on numerous Disney films and franchises such as Peter Pan, Disney Villains and Disney Princesses. Peter Pan's shadow escapes from him once again and ruins the magic of the star. The dripping magic sparkle shapes into Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. Peter's shadow goes through a number of Disney films, including Ratatouille, Aladdin, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the Lion King, Brave, Tangled, and The Princess and the Frog. Peter's shadow is captured by Dr. Facilier and threatened by other Disney villains. Peter's shadow is then returned to Peter Pan and tries to defeat Captain Hook. Peter spots Tinker Bell and tells her to put the magic of the second star where it belongs.
The show is known to use a large amount of audiovisual, lighting, pyrotechnic and hydrotechnic technology. The show is controlled from a specially built control room, delivered by special convoy and themed as a small Victorian-themed garden shed on the central plaza facing the castle. 70 kilometers of fiber optics allow the show to be managed from this location. The show is operated by a main controller with three technicians to look after audio, video and special effects. However other technicians are placed at around the castle to ensure the smooth running of the show, especially at the firing points. In total, 20 people are necessary at each performance. Disney Dreams utilizes 37 fixed and 6 moving fountains which are capable of firing water up to 40 meters high. Featuring LEDs at their base, the patented designs have been used at Disney California Adventure in World of Color. And Shine Brighter, is a show, parade at Disneyland Park, Paris. Led by dancers leading the way for the four floats, the characters take over Main Street USA when making their way to Central Plaza with the popular theme song, Ready for the Ride. From their iridescent floats, Mickey, Minnie and their friends greet guests in a festive atmosphere. As the Fountains of Sleeping Beauty Castle come into play, dancers, characters take their places on the stages. The celebration begins with a medley of many Disney films. From Beauty and the Beast to Moana, from Toy Story to Aladdin and many others, it is one of the best Disney medleys ever created. It opened on March 6, 2022, as part of Disneyland Paris's 30th anniversary celebration. Continuing the theme of light throughout the anniversary, the costumes have a multicolor iridescent shimmer with each character given a different tint. The look is crisp, modern and colorful. Mickey, Daisy, Goofy, Clarice and the Mad Hatter are the only characters who speak English in the show. All the other characters speak French. Miguel, however, speaks Spanish in this show during the beginning of the second part. Woody and Jesse's updated looks make their European debuts in this show. Joy is part of the Under the Sea scene, since she is the only character who didn't get her own theme. Opening date of this show was March 6, 2022 and will be played until the end of the 30th anniversary grand finale, which ends on September 30, 2023. There are different versions of the show for all kinds of weather. There is a rainy day version where there are no dancers and only the basic characters with ponchos can be seen on the floats and for the hot summer days there is also a hot weather version. With these special versions there is often no show stop at Central Plaza. On hot summer days you'll have the best chance of seeing a full show if you go to the first performance before the temperature is at its highest. The main character from Coco, Miguel, made his first appearance at Disneyland Paris. Some other characters who are not seen that often in Disneyland Paris also participate in the show, such as Joy from Inside Out, 
Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde from Zootopia. While primarily based on the Florida version, Paris's version of Big Thunder Mountain is unique as it is situated on an island in the middle of the rivers of the far west. Guests board the trains at a station on the mainland. Unlike the other versions, the trains on this version are painted to look weathered and aged. Immediately upon leaving the station, trains dive into a tunnel that transports them under the rivers of the far west to the island where the ride is located. The train makes a right-hand turn, and makes a quick steep rise before starting up the first lift hill. As trains climb out of the darkness of the underwater tunnel, stalactites and stalagmites can be seen growing next to the track, along with several rainbow-colored pools of water. The tracks were made by manufacturer Vacoma. The coaster has a maximum speed of 65 km per hour and a length 1,500 meters and opened in 1992 with the rest of the park. The Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs attraction is a small dark ride in Fantasyland just behind Sleeping Beauty Castle, and was one of the classic attractions from the original Disneyland in California that was brought to Disneyland Paris. It opened with the rest of the park on 12 April 1992, its duration is 2 minutes and its capacity is 6 guests per vehicle with a total of 10 vehicles. And even though it's Snow White's attraction, you'll only see Snow White two times during your ride. At the very beginning in the cottage of the Seven Dwarfs and at the very end together with the prince. The main role is rather reserved for the evil queen who can be seen much more in the attraction. Even before you enter the attraction you can see the evil queen, who appears periodically at the first floor window of the building. Try to ride first thing in the morning, by arriving in Fantasyland during extra magic time, or later in the evening for the shortest wait time. La Tenere du Dragon, the Lair of the Dragon, is a walk-through attraction located beneath Sleeping Beauty Castle, at Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris, and is unique to that park. 
It opened with Euro Disneyland on April 12, 1992. The attraction features an audio animatronic dragon, which at 27 meters, 89 feet, from head to tail, was the largest animatronic figure ever built when the park opened in April 1992. The walkthrough consists of a dimly lit cavern with a large dragon sleeping silently. Occasionally it will, wake up, puffing smoke and growling. Phantom Manor is a dark ride attraction in Frontierland at Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris. Phantom Manor is the park's version of the Haunted Mansion attractions at Disneyland, Magic Kingdom and Tokyo Disneyland, although it is designed to be darker in tone compared to other Haunted Mansion rides. It opened with Euro Disneyland on April 12, 1992. The attraction combines a walk-through portion with Omnimover vehicles and features special effects and audio animatronics. The duration is 6 minutes and has 92 audio animatronics, the length is 239 meters. Phantom Manor is the only haunted mansion that can be found in Frontierland. In Walt Disney World the attraction is located Liberty Square, in Disneyland in New Orleans Square and in Tokyo Disneyland it is located in Fantasyland. As you approach the gate of the Ravenswood Estate, you can see a plaque with the attraction's name. Designed to resemble the Haunted Mansion's iconic plaque, Phantom Manor adds its own twist to reflect its darker tone. In the lower part of the plaque, you'll find the Latin motto, Non Omnis Moriar. This line comes from the Odes of Latin Poet Horace, Book 3, Ode 30, and means, I will not die completely. Thank you for watching. Please consider to support us with a super thanks if you like what we do. This is greatly appreciated and allows us to continue making video for your future enjoyment.